بسم الله والصلاة والسلام على رسول الله رب شرح لي صدري ويسر لي أمري وحل لقدة من لساني يفقه قولي رب يسر ولا تؤسر وتمم بالخير Let's begin lesson number 12 In this lesson we will learn about uh, the detached pronoun anti So basically all the information that we will have in this lesson will will deal with the feminine uh like second yeah second person feminine so we have detached pronoun which is anti and uh, for that the attached pronoun that is used is ki uh, similarly the relative pronoun which is allati uh, already we have learned alladhi uh, which means who or which and similarly for the feminine we have allati and it has the same meaning who or which Then the past tense for the masculine, we know that it is vahaba, that means he went. And when you want to talk about a singular feminine, then we will say vahabat, she went. So the difference over here, here we have vahaba, and here we have the addition of ta asakin, which is vahabat. And also we will see that sometimes the detached pronouns and uh, they can be used for the purpose of emphasis so let's begin we have learned already that uh, anta means you and it is used for the second person masculine singular and when you talk when we use the attached pronoun we use ka for example anta bilalun you are bilal hada kitabuka this is your book now if you are talking to a singular feminine So what do we say? We say anti. Uh, so what happened over here? The change that has taken place over here, it was fatha over here, and now for the feminine we have kasra. So we have anti you, and similarly the attached pronoun will be ki. It will also take kasra. You and your. For example, we say anti Fatima tu. You are Fatima, and hada kitabu ki. This is your book. So the only difference that we can see over here is just the the vowel sign. So here we have fatha, and this is for the second person masculine singular. And here when we have kasra, it is also used for the second person, but we have for the feminine singular. In English we only have you, but now in Arabic we can see that we have anta and we have anti. So the meaning will be the same. You. uh the more the most important point that we need to remember is uh, both detached and attached pronouns are definite so they are basically marifa whether they are used uh, uh, independently or they are used dependently uh, they are always definite nouns they are marifa ad-darsu al-thani 10 lesson number 12 kayfa haluki Ya bintu. Now, as we can see that uh, we are addressing the, the girl. So, what do we say? Kaifa halu ki with kasra over here. Kaifa halu ki ya bintu. How are you, oh girl? She says, "Ana bi khairin walhamdulillah." Now, the use of preposition be as we can see over here, and that when you are talking about uh, your health or when you are just responding to kayfa haluk we also use the preposition be so it's a very very important preposition uh, please focus on this and whatever uses you come across try to write them down ana bi khairin walhamdulillah i am doing fine and praise be to allah min aina anti where are you from so anti refers to the bint as we can see over here so because we have bint which is feminine that's why the pronoun that we will use is also for the feminine men aina anti where are you from ana min suria i am from syria now we know that if a noun ends with alif uh, we cannot put uh, any case endings we know that this is majrur because it has harf e jarmin before it however we cannot put any endings or any vowels at the end Uh, so it will remain as it is whenever 
a noun ends with alif and alif maqsura, we don't put any endings. And I'm in Syria. I am from Syria. Masmuki, what is your name? So now we have the introduction of the attached pronoun. And uh, if you are talking to a girl or a lady, then what? how do we say? We will say, Masmuki, what is your name? And she says, Ismi Amina too. My name is Amina. And now you know that like why Amina doesn't have Tanween over here. Um, does anyone remember why it doesn't have Tanween over here? Okay, it's me, Amina too. So it's a feminine name and we know that it is Mamnu Minas Sarf, right? It is Mamnu Minas Sarf. That means uh, all the feminine names as we have learned that they do not accept uh, and they do not accept tanween and they do not accept kasra or we call them as you said uh, we call them partially flexible or we call them diptote excellent aina abuki where is your father so now we can see over here aina abuki a very simple sentence um and we know that whenever we have the word abun whenever it is marfu then wow is added to that where is your father Abi Huna fil Madina til Manawara. Uh, my father is here in Medina Manawara, and we have learned that Huna is uh, it's a dharf, uh, it's an adverb, and it is basically used to talk about the place. So Abi Huna fil Madina til Manawarati. My father is here in Medina Manawara. Huwa mufattishun fil madrasati thaniya. He is an inspector, or he is an examiner in the secondary school. Uh, so now mufattish basically, uh, as we know the word taf taftish is, is searching for something. Uh, so mufattish is basically inspector, but when we talk about uh, like about this word in the context of the school, uh, then we will say that he is an examiner in the secondary school. Wa'ayna ummuki, and where is your mother? And now we can see that we have ki because it refers to the bint and we know bint is feminine. And that's why the all the pronouns that we will use will be for the singular feminine. Second person, singular feminine. And where is your mother? Hiya aydan huna. Aydan also. And hiya will be the subject and huna will be the uh, predicate. And aydan is also, uh, it is used as, as we can see over here. Uh, it's not basically it's not dharf. it's just like object but inshallah we will discuss about it later here aydan huna she's also here hi tabibatun fi mustashfal wilada fi mustashfal wiladati right hi tabibatun she is a doctor fi mustashfal wiladati in the maternity hospital and now we can see over here that uh, Mustashfa also it ends with Alif Maqsura and as we discussed earlier that if a noun ends with Alif Maqsura then we cannot put the case endings and it is Mudaf and Al Wiladati is Mudaf Ilay. Uh, she's a doctor in maternity hospital now we have the introduction of Allati as we can see over here وَمَنْ هَذِهِ الْفَتَاةُ الَّتِي مَعَكِي And who is this young lady who is with you? أَهِيَ أُخْتُكِ Is she your sister? Now let's see over here. أَلَّتِي As we know that this is a basically relative pronoun. اسم الْمَصُولِ And it means who when we use it for a person. And it means which when we use it for a thing. For the masculine, we have learned that we use الَّذِي and for the feminine singular, what do we use? We use Allati. Maman Hadihil Fatatu Lati Maaki, Ahiya Uhtuki. And who is this young girl who is with you? Is she your sister? So in English basically it is like redundant uh, to use who again and again. If you say who is this this young girl with you, the meaning is clear. But the only reason why I put it here so that we can see that uh Man means who and also Allati means who. So our our purpose is to focus on the Arabic language. And that's why even if the translation sometimes doesn't suit um, what we have in Arabic, that doesn't that doesn't matter. Ahiya Uhtuki is she your sister? 
لا نو هي بنت عمي now we know that bint uh, is used as mudaf and ammi is used mudaf ilayh uh, here is subject and bintu is the predicate bintu ammi is mudaf mudaf ilayh and she is the daughter of my uncle masmuha what's her name again ma is this ma is ma al istifhamia uh, which is used to ask a question we have learned two types of ma um, one is ma al istifhamia And after that, we will see a question mark, and we know that it is used to ask a question. What is her name? And ha refers to what? Masculine or feminine? Ha. Ha refers to feminine. And here, what it is used for? It is used for bint. Again, we can see over here. Uh, here, bintu ammi, masmuha, what's her name? Ismuha Fatima tu. Her name is Fatima. Okay, so what's the difference between ki and ha? We have learned today ki and we have learned already ha. So what is the difference between these two? Ki is used for the second person. And that is in front of you. Excellent. You. And ha means her. Excellent. Masmuha, what's her name? Ismuha Fatima tu. Her name is Fatima. Ahiya zamila tuki. Is she your classmate? So again, it's a very simple sentence. Hamza uh, istifham uh, that is used to ask a question, and we know that after this, the question will be either yes or no. Zamila tuki, as we know that it is mudaf mudafile, because we know that all the attached pronouns they are used as mudafile. So, is she your classmate? La no. Ana fil madrasatil mutawastiyati. وَهِيَ فِي الْمَدْرَسَةِ الثَّانَوِيَةِ So she says, I am in the middle school and she is in the secondary school. أَلَكِ uh, We have learned in the previous lesson that uh, when we talk about the relationships, uh, we use the preposition li, And we know that when li is used with attached pronouns, it changes into la, as we can see over here. So, Alaki Ukhtun, do you have a sister? La, no. Ma li Ukhtun, no, I don't have a sister. What kind of ma is this now? Does anyone remember? What kind of ma is this? Ma li Ukhtun, I don't have a sister. Ma of negation, excellent. Ma anafia of negation, excellent. So this is the second type of ma that we have learned already. We have learned ma al istifhamia and ma an nafia. It is used for negation and it means, I uh, know I don't have a sister. Alaki akhun. The next question is, alaki akhun. Do you have a brother? And now she says, naam. Yes. Li akhun kabirun, wa huwa talibun bil jamiati. I have an older brother and he is a student in the university. So li jar majroor will be the predicate, akhun will be the subject, and it is masuf, it's a noun, and kabirun is the adjective. Wow means and, to connect these two sentences, huwa will be the subject, and talibun will be predicate, and bil jamiati is jar majroor. And now please check over here, the second use of bi, uh, which is basically used for the cities or for the places as well. Wow, this is called wow atfi atf wow of atf that means wow of uh, connection. Basically, basically, it is used to connect uh, two nouns or two verbs or two sentences. These can be nominal sentences and th these can be verbal sentences. And this is called wow wow atfi wow of connection. Basically, or we can say wow of connection. which is basically used to connect two sentences. Li akhun wahidun is the first sentence and huwa talibun bil jamiati is the second sentence. And wow is connecting these two sentences. And remember that wow is always connected to the second part of, or to the second sentence. Okay, there is a question. Uh, how do we know that uh, this ma is used to ask a question or it is used to, um, it is used to, Negate. So we know that from the context, of course, first of all, if you're reading from the book, 
um, you will see that if it is a mal istifhamia, if it is used to ask a question, there will be a question mark after that. And uh, number two, from the context, when you're talking to someone, yes, by the question mark, and then you will come to know that uh, you are using ma al istifham al nafia, and inshallah, with the passage of time, we will get used to it. Waman hada tiflu alladhi maaki, and who is this boy? Uh, who is with you? So now we can see over here that tiflun is uh, masculine. So that's why for masculine, the connecting word that we are using is alladhi. If it is هَذِهِ الطِّفْلَةُ It will be أَلَّتِي But now we have هَذَا الطِّفْلُ That's why we have أَلَّذِي وَمَنْ هَذَا الطِّفْلُ أَلَّذِي مَعْكِ And who is this boy with you? هُوَ بْنُ أَخِي هُوَ بْنُ أَخِي So basically هُوَ ابْنُ أَخِي And when we connect it we say هُوَ بْنُ أَخِي He is the son of my brother And we know it was basically أَخُن And then we have يَا الْمَتَكَلِّمْ So that's why it has changed into Akhi, who Abnu Ibn Akhi. Masmuhu, what's his name? And now who refers to? Ibn Akhi, it refers to him. Masmuhu, what's his name? Ismuhu, Sa'adun, his name is Sa'ad. So Ismuhu will be the subject and Sa'adun will be predicate. His name is Sa'ad. Okay. A'ummuki fil bayti al-ana. Is your mother in the house now or right now? La no dhahabat ila al mustashfa. She went to the hospital. No, she went to the hospital. And now we can see over here that dhahabat is used for the singular feminine, third person. Dhahaba, he went. Dhahabat, she went. Jalasa, he sat. Jalasat, she sat. Kharaja, he left, and Kharajat, she left. So this is what we need to learn and focus on this, that it always has a ta asakina in the end, and the addition of ta makes it feminine. So when you have the past tense, for example, dhahaba, kharaja, uh, uh, similarly we have learned raja'a. So if you want to, to change it to the feminine, you have to only add ta asakina to that, so it becomes feminine. So la dhahabat, no, she went to the hospital. So Alhamdulillah, our lesson is complete now. And in the next lesson, we will do the exercises. Subhanaka Allahumma wa bihamdika. Ashadu an la ilaha illa anta astaghfiruka wa atubu ilayk. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.